so today we are creating our very own flex runner game yes flex runner game so this game we basically play when our laptop is offline so let's see this game in google and then we will come back to our demo of the game so if i go here chrome dinosaur game so this is actually an offline game Wait even. Let me go offline right now. So I'm offline. So when I reload this page, it will know that. So when I click this text in a game, so well, I'm playing this offline game. So we are creating the same game here in our code.org platform. So when I press page to start, and what if I touch any of these, then it will show game over. Then I can again start the game. Well, so are you excited to create this game with me? So let's start. So first, of course, I will connect back to my internet. Done. Now I need to create a new code.org. Let's create a new game approach. Remember, for this game, we need all these sprites. So quickly go to the description of this game and download the script. I have given the link. So quickly download these sprites. So I'm uploading it. You two also have uploaded. So well, we have to upload all these. I know all these can't be uploaded, but let's try. No, only one can upload. So first, bush run. Next, bush two. Next, bush three. Next, bush four. Next, bush five. Next. Bush six. Next, cloud. Next, sorry. Oh gosh, we are over excited. Now, ground. I think we didn't upload it. Game over. Yes, we didn't upload it that one time. Next, we start. Next, Taro Zero. Then, same version of it at the second level, that is one. Then, Peg Zero. Then Trex one, then Trex two, after Trex two, Trex collide, sorry, Trex collide, then Trex duck. And then Trek Rest. So with this we have uploaded all and I hope you have also uploaded all your sprites because this is very important. 
to make and your sprites are available in the description. Go to the link and download it. Now, what next? Next, we have to, of course, make them here. To create variables, let's create a variable twig in the position 50, 350, 20 and 30. These are the rent and the blend. And let's draw the sprites. Run. So it's here. Let's create the ground now. Two hundred, three seventy-five, four hundred and fifty. So let's run and check. Yes, this is the position where I want it. Now we will set its animation. ground yeah even we are going to now give it a depth let's give it depth so what is depth depth of the sprite so see now if you don't know what is depth I'm trying to show you with the examples. It is exactly, if you know the meaning of depth, it returns the depth of the sprite. Like scale, similarly it's one more that is depth. Okay, I hope you understood now the meaning of depth. So let's give its depth to be minus. Ground dot depth to be minus. Okay. Now we are creating an invisible ground. So invisible ground here. Variable in visible ground. I hope till now you understood why do we do four times? This indicates the size, the blend, and the breadth. First one is breadth, and the second one is length, which is none but height. So we will do 200, 400, 40, 400. But because this is the invisible ground, it is not going to be shown. So sorry we did wrong opposite 440 here it should That is my first thing now. Yes. So this is an invisible ground and they should not be visible. So we will make it visibility to false. We will make it visibility to false. Invisible ground will not be visible. So its invisibility is equal to false. Now we are creating a variable that is game state. What are we creating? We are creating a variable creating a variable game state. Now this will indicate the state of all the I mean of the game and this will help us a lot. So simply we are creating a variable named as game state. It's start. Call now. Next, what are we doing is we are creating variable characters group. The all the characters, so we are making them in the same group. So variable character group is equal to create group and same for the cloud group we are doing okay now same for the cloud group 
done. So now let's add the more of them. There's like the reset button and all stuff. Let's add that also. Right? Now let's create one more variable as variable game over. What are we getting on the variable? Variable game over. Fine. So let's create this sprite at 250. Let's set animation to it. Game over is equal to sorry dot set animation equal to show blocks. I'm so sorry. No, let's put this on off. Yeah. Fine. So this is all done. So now if I actually run my game, oh god. It's too small. But I want it bigger. So I'm going to scale it to bigger. Okay, so I'm going to scale it to 4. I'm going to scale it to 4. Next, I'm going to state its visibility as false because it should only be visible when the game is over. So, I'm going to state its visibility as false. When I eat it and run, well, okay, so we have done it, so it should not come like in inverted commas, it should be simple for when I eat it and run, now it's done, yeah. So now we are creating one more variable named as reset button, we are creating one more variable as reset button, so let's create it. Let's create reset button in the positions 200 and 250. And this will also be shown only when we tell. Only when we state the user. So for now it will be false. So let's go to show block and check its animation add on. Fine. Next, what are we doing is next we are when I run and yeah, it's large. I'm going to scale it to zero point eight. I'm going to reset this button to zero point eight. Now it's fine. And let us take its visibility to four. So it is not going to be shown. Next, what is this? Just one thing is left now. Guess what? Of course, the score. Only the score is left now and everything else is done. So I'm happy all these setting animation and all these kind of stuffs are successfully done. So we can add a comment here. Adding score. Or making or creating a variable score. Done. Let's go to function draw and start coding our app. So can you tell what is the first thing every every game should have? The first thing is yes, you guessed it right. It should have a background color. So we have added a background color. Next, what to be done?
Now, after adding background, what do we need to do next? Now, to make our threads move smoothly, what do we have to do is we have to make it collide with the invisible graph. So, we are going to add one statement that Here it is. So we will do that. Twix dot collide with the invisible ground. Then next let's go to our next level. Now let's add some of the main functionalities to our game. So we are going to add an if statement that if the game state is equal to start. If the game state is equal to start, here is wait. So we will write it on our own. So go to math and here it is. So we will go to show text. So now you might all be confused that what is the difference between these three these three whatever we say is equals to sign and this single sign actually this sign will state that this is exactly equal to that but these three will show we like we are comparing like if it is equal to that then show that but if we are assigning a value to it then of course we use this single equals to sign I hope it's clear, but if it's not clear, I will again give you a detailed explanation on it. Please let me know in the comment section if it's not clear. I'm going to give you a give you a detailed explanation on this topic. So if the game state is equal to start, do you remember we created one variable named as game state? Here it is. So, of course, now let's see. Here it is game state single equals to sign. But here, why did we put three signs? It's all because where we have assigned a value. But here we are comparing and asking if it's equal to itself. Understood? So, if the game state is equal to start, then, then it's going to show them one text written that press space to start. Press space to start in the position 30 and 200. Now the default text is very bad so we will add some customization in it so let's put the text size as 25 and let's fill the color as gray because our all the theme of our game is gray so we will put the color as gray so we can see press page to start it's coming because the game should is now start right but I don't want to see all the stuff. So I'm going to make it invisible. I mean I'm going to make its visibility as false. So when it is the game today start then we will make game over the the visibility of game over As false, also the reset button as false. Now, when I go back there, let's check this easy button and game over spelling. I call it. I was just checking now. So, we have made this. That if the game to restart, then it's going to show this. Now, if now we are adding 
if sorry if statement and then we have to add that so if game state is equal to start and the key down pressed is you can simply drag it if key down is space so key down it is pressed is space then what's going to happen then we are going to wait we did a mistake here did you notice here we are comparing then it should come three when we are comparing then it should come three and when we are assigning a value to it like now we are going to assign a value to game state like suppose if game state is wait it should be confusing to you all so i'm going to let us put this all again if e down is equal to space and game state is equal to start then what's going to happen then we are going to assign the value of game state to play right so suppose if the user pressed e down according to the instruction given here then what's going to happen then it's going to show then it's going to assign the game state as play now let's fulfill this assignment i mean let's fulfill this the thing which we have assigned right now let's make it to come in real so let's do that if the game state is equal to play which we have assigned just now then what's going to happen then it's going to change what's going to change then it's going to change the tracks animation so we are doing then tracks dot set animation as run that track should run so let's check it where it is because i'm not able to find it there did we even upload it that let's check if we uploaded tracks run no it's not here so we are going to upload one more image that is tracks run and i hope i have provided and the description there is correct i have provided you this one so you also uploaded if you haven't so all its prefixes tracks run 0 Let's run one under frames, okay? Under frames. We can increase later. And then we will now do the changes. So track the set animation and track run. Right, and also the score should increase. The score should also increase. So score is equal to score plus max round.
so here we will do that bold dot change rate by 60. So the score will increase like if I run now and press page to pass so I can see it's running. But the score we haven't attached till now, we will do that. I'm just showing like it's moving right. Next, what we have to do is, but did you notice that it's too large? So we will also scale it. We are also going to scale it to x dot scale is equal to 0 0.60. 6 and 6 0 are our same. So let's run now. Yes, now it's fine. Next, what we have to do. Hey, wait. I think. Well, just a second. I'm just checking one thing. Next, what are we doing is we will add that if tricks. Let's add a match statement. Wait, if statement also. If tricks, if tricks dot collide with our cactus group and game state is equal to game state is equal to play Then what's going to happen? Remember the if statement which we had it is under this if statement only. Is under the play game state only. Okay. Then if it collides with the word actors group then game state is equal to over. Fine. The game state is equal to over. Then. Now we are going to add text so add the text that fill grade fi is equal to 40 and the text should be score is equal to score okay so let's check so see score is increasing can you see the score is increasing Yes. Next, what are we doing is we are creating some of the functions. We are creating functions now. So, right now we are creating a variable named as gravity. So, under this function gravity, we are creating one variable known as gravity. It is equal to 0 0.50. And the trex dot velocity like it should move right every time. So its velocity by is equal to trex dot velocity by plus grade. Okay. Then we are creating one more function named as ground move. ground move under this function what's going to happen we are defining that ground the ground dot velocity x is equal to minus 5 and we are adding an if statement that if the ground is greater than 0 then ground dot x its width is going to be divided by 2. See, 
if the x position of ground is more than 0 then its position is going to be half of its width i hope i am not confusing you okay now we are creating one more function named as function jump So in this function jump, what's going to happen? We are adding if statement that if p down is equal to space and the trex is touching the ground and also And game state is equal to play. And if game state is equal to play, if all these three things are working, then what's going to happen? Then trex dot velocity by is equal to minus two. Okay? Then we are creating more functions. Function cloud. So under this function, what's going to happen? We are adding here also a statement. If the frame count is so, here we are adding a statement. If frame count then 40 then if it's equal to 0 then what's going to happen then it's going to add that variable cloud is equal to create price width we will add line by line so then variable cloud is equal to create price and its position its Position, it's y position is going to be random 100 and 200. Okay, and its animation is going to be clouds.png. Let's check if it's correct to avoid any error. It's cloud.png. Wait, so we'll go to show block. Scroll down and click on the color. Here it is. Okay, so it will not then the cloud's velocity x is equal to minus but that the cloud should move and its cloud dot lifetime is equal to hundred and in the cloud group which we have created, it is going to add this cloud. Understood? Next, we are creating one more variable, sorry, one more function named as cactus. So, we are creating one more function named as cactus. Function cactus. And in this function, what's going to happen? We are adding a variable, creating a variable named as random. Then we are creating a sprite. So we are creating a variable sprite named, sorry, variable cactus in the position 4, 10, 370, 10 and 50. Then we are doing that its animation is, should be That set its animation to. So right now we will go to show text. And we are going to write. Wait. Well before let me explain you what have we done. So in, we can see that in animation there is obstacle. So here we can see wait. Let me search. 
Well, where is it? Have we uploaded that too? I don't think. So, well, I will add it here. No worries. Let's upload them. So all done. So what have we done here is we have done that the animation of characters should be random. Like here we have obstacle one, obstacle two. Show it second position one plus two three. This should be random number between one and six. I hope you understood what I am trying to say. You all. So next we are doing that characters velocity, its scale. And its lifetime, and that it should be added to the characters group. Okay. Next, we are creating function over. So inside this function over, we are going to write. So here we are writing that if the game state. Is equal to over if the game state is equal to over, then what's going to happen? Then twix dot set animation twix dot set animation will be twix. Collide this one, okay? So tricks dot tricks collide and tricks dot velocity x would be zero, but and the tricks would be scaled, right? Also, cactus group their set velocity x each would be zero. All the Items, all the every of every object in the cactus and the cloud group, their velocity x would be zero, right? And also set and of set the lifetime of the cactus group as well as the cloud group to be as minus one. So set lifetime each. So it, you will get all these in the sprites. Okay, you can even write it as I'm saying you to you all. Here in groups, you will get it. See set and in lifetime each. Then you here have set lifetime each and set velocity each. Here it is set velocity x each. Understood. And here the game over component which was of game over dot visible would be equal to two. And reset button is also going to be true now. Plus 
ground dot velocity x is equal to zero now. Now we are adding one if statement under this if statement. The if statement we are adding one if statement under this if statement, which is till now we have done till here we have created many functions and we had to add an if statement under this function over. So let's continue doing it and let's have a quick recap of what we have done then. So we have basically created all the variables and assigned the animations to it. Then we created variable scope and we did that the how the tricks should move. Then we created functions such as gravity, ground move, jump, cloud, cactus, and over. So under this function over, we were writing an if statement. So let's continue with that if statement and then we may proceed ahead. So we are doing basically that if mouse pressed over reset button, if the mouse is pressed over the reset button, and one more statement and the game state is equal to over then what's going to happen now if you remember if you had watched my complete video i had told you the difference between these three equal sign and one single equal sign if if you have forgot no worries i will give a quick recap of this also so this single equal sign means that we are assigning this property to it. But this triple equal sign indicates that we are comparing it if it's equal to that. Understood? So if mouse is pressed over reset button and the game state is equal to over, then what's going to happen? Then basically you all know when the reset button is clicked, then the game is again started. So then the game state is changed to start. Then the game state is changed to start. Okay, the game state would come from beginning. And then the cactus group, the destroy each and cloud group destroy each. This is going to happen and the score is going to be from zero. Okay, so then the score would be zero. Now adding functions, making function is not all done. We have to apply these functions. Making function means just writing a set of codes and making it there. But that code is not active till the time you don't make it active in your code. So now it's time for us to make it active in a code. So in this statement in function draw, we are going to add these functions. So what are we doing is before wait so after the statement game state is equal to over then after this single then we are going to apply it let's do gravity then ground move function then jump function then we have cloud then cactus Okay, then after this, so with the block like this will done here, this, this should be after these functions. Okay, then what's next? Then after this, we have to add a statement that is over. This over function. 
so in animation we have to do one thing that here the name only this two written because we have done there something random right so remove this dot png and that all Yes, done. So you can come back to quotes. Wait, we did not did for obstacle number six also. Here also we didn't do. Done. Come back to quotes. So with this we have finished our game. We had made our game completed. So let's see if it's working. So. So see randomly if everything is coming clouds is coming randomly so see and whatever it is everything then game over let us click in the reset button and yes game shit is also working so with this we have made our game and if you are having any errors or if you are feeling facing any difficulty then of course you can let me know in the comment section and I am always here to help you. Even you can mail me and send me the screenshot of your code. So I am so happy we have made our text game. Well, I will be playing this much so long, but video is in the end. So, thank you everyone.